What images pop into your brain when you think about the border? Caravans of migrants, kids in cages, maybe just the big steel fence itself. I think about those things too, but I also think about a lot of people that I really love. I think of my family. Hola, Bobby. ¿Cómo estás, corazón? Muy bien, ¿y tú? Bien, chulo. I think of my friends. It's kind of like running with the bulls it's, in Spain. It's, it's cool. It's just wild. <laughs> I think of a hybrid culture that blurs the lines between us and gives birth to amazing creativity, like the binational bilingual band I'm in. No, she can sing it. We just had to drop out. I think of belonging and identity and how the labels we put on each other, Mexican, American, foreign, local, aren't always so neat. How do you identify? Judio Mexicano and also Californian. I'm Alan Liliental, the host of Port of Entry. And the border is my home. People like me, with work and family on both sides of the border, we have to keep on crossing. Pandemic or not, it's just part of who we are and how we live. In Port of Entry, we tell stories about people like us. Gente fronteriza y sus historias viviendo con la línea. We've got stories about how the Black Lives Matter movement crossed the border. Yo participé 100% en esta organización, en estas cositas, porque, ¿ya sabes por qué? Stories about dual citizens who vote on both sides of the border. If I vote in Mexico for the things that will impact not only Mexico, the U.S. and other countries, of course I'm going to vote. Stories about a mom who crosses to buy cheaper insulin to keep her diabetic son alive. It's unbelievable. $12 compared to $110 in the U.S. I'm so furious about it. My kid needs this to live. Stories about a guy who fell in and out of love with Tijuana, a city stuck in a constant battle with cartel violence. It's hard not to juxtapose it. It's hard not to compare. San Diego isn't the perfect clean city on the hill, but it's miles away from Tijuana. It's hard. And a recurring series on music from both sides of the border. Growing up in the border town, you hear just so many genres of music, even in Tijuana. The diversity of immigrants that live in that city alone exposes you to a lot of styles. Only here is now Port of Entry. From KPBS and PRX, we'll be bringing you cross-border stories that connect us. If you were already a subscriber, the transition should be seamless for you. Just be sure to make a mental note of our new logo and name so you can find us when you need to. For the rest of you border dwellers who haven't become loyal listeners yet, you can subscribe at portofentrypod.org, on Apple Podcasts, or wherever you listen. If you have any border stories you would like to share, we'd love to hear them. Call or text anytime at 619-452-0228. Thank you. Hey folks, Jorge Meraz here, coming to you from Baja. Make sure you check out the next episode of Crossing South. We get a backstage pass with a local rock band from Tijuana called the Trevolts. We also explore a few food spots in Rosarito, such as a breakfast place called Fat Cat. We also check out the menu available at Betty's Burger. Spoiler alert, their patty melt is to die for. Do not miss this episode. Watch new episodes of Crossing South Thursday nights at 9.30 on KPBS-TV or online anytime on the free PBS video app. Or you can watch it online at kpbs.org slash crossing south.